Salam guys, I think uh, for the past three days, it's been really crazy as you can imagine. Um, it all started with me wanting to voice out SMEs and how tough it is for them. I think Smora is a struggle right now, even the businesses. And with that, if businesses struggle, then people will lose jobs. And my niat was just to say that and to let people share what they feel because I know some people, my own friends in the business community, semua dah kena tutup kedai or tutup business and wang kerja. And of course, I don't want that to happen to anyone. Um, I think it spiral out of control um, but this past like few days I have been self-reflecting banyak fikir balik and muhasabah diri and I feel there's so much I can improve on and um, yeah so I understand uh, why netizens are mad and I completely agree. I think as a public figure, I should be more careful apa yang I tulis, apa yang I share. And um, this will be a very big pengajaran for me lah. But um, I don't think anyone should be subjected to so much fitnah and so much cyberbullying to the national scale, I think um, it's not easy to go through that. I think it has caused my parents a lot of distress. My husband, um, my team, who have all been very, very supportive and sangat sangat baik. And I've gotten so many uh, love messages from so many people young you know who you are so uh, I thank you for that however uh, I do want to address uh, a blatant like fitnah that's just going around right now actually I have it here this picture that's going around that I said this kenapa kerajaan nak beri bantuan kepada golongan B40 and 40 sedangkan dia orang tak kontrib, tak beri contribution to economy Malaysia Vivi Yusof I want to say that I never said this saya tak tak pernah terfikir pun nak cakap benda ni saya rasa I, I memang tak tak sangka lah yang orang ingat and orang percaya saya boleh cakap benda yang teruk sangat macam tu um, sebenarnya it was said in an FB live bukan FB live saya saya tak ada Facebook pun um, it was said there and I was simply a viewer but of course bila dah masuk Twitter dah go out of control people will just share whatever they want to share and they will um just believe it. You know, I think I I also self-reflect that I myself, macam kalau dapat WhatsApp messages ke or like tweets ke, I baca, senang kita nak percaya and kita tak fact-check. And then kita share kat orang lain. And dah, tak pasal-pasal kita dapat dosa because you're just spreading more fitnah about people that's so unnecessary. Like, tiba-tiba dah, dah dosa. Um, I think if there's Anything that I preach, I always tell women to stand up for themselves. And as sad as I am, I think this is the moment I stand up for myself. Because I never said this. It was some other people that said it, but I, I'm framed to have said it. And um, it's being shared so much until there's even a UITM petition to get me out. I think... Um, I think that is memang sangat-sangat melampau sebab semua orang yang sign petition tu semua tak check facts. I never said this. 
saya tak pernah pandang rendah B40. Kalau saya pandang rendah, memang saya tak saya tak saya taklah beri bantuan. Kalau saya pandang rendah, kalau saya tak sayang, memang saya takkan start fun tu. Like saya tak faham macam mana orang boleh ingat saya pandang rendah B40. Because all I did was care for your jobs. I understand um, my own self reflection. Maybe my words used was not right. Um, and I will continue to improve on this. And I agree that there's a lot of things that I have to fix with myself. But I don't think I should tolerate lies being spread about me on this national scale. Uh, <clears throat> it also doesn't help that celebrities come out on their Instagram, Maki Maki Hamun, uh, while holding a Quran. I just I just don't don't understand how people can even respect that. If you want to do good, just do good. You don't have to maki hamun orang. Um, so, I want to stick up for myself. I know I'm wrong. I know I can be more sensitive and I will. I will improve as a human being on that. But I will also be taking legal action on these people that started the rumors started the lie, started the petition. It's just so mean, so vicious, and so unthinkable how you can do this to someone. I don't think you sanggup tengok anak you go through this, wife you go through this, your best friend go through this. Mm. It's a lot for someone to take. So, I think what I want to say is that I apologize once again to netizens and masyarakat B40. But I want to tegaskan yang saya tak pernah pandang rendah siapa-siapa. Kalau saya pandang rendah, memang saya takkan peduli langsung. But I care. I think my actions speak louder than words. I care. And yeah, I, I hope you can see through that. And not just believe everything you read on Twitter. And tak payah nak kutip dosa to retweet lies. Because tak pasal-pasal. Okay, so that's all I want to say. Um, thank you for listening. And I think I will bounce back, inshallah, with more exciting things. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Love you.